Yeah, that's lovely. That's um, that could even be a little bit later. That could be sort of fifteenth. Oh, as late as that. Yeah, no, well, it's certainly medieval. It's glazed, and it looks like to bowl actually. I think. It could be earlier, not later. No, sorry, mate. If it's earlier, it would be invisible because you don't really get any pottery around here before the 13th century. So, well, not very much. There's the odd scrap of 11th, 12th. Once you get before the Norman Conquest, there's nothing except exotic imports from the Mediterranean, which you do. I, I, I did wonder about that because, you know, there's been this big hunt on for anything early. And I did wonder what the, the, the date what, what date pottery might come in around here. Well, if you start finding features with nowt in, they're probably dark age. <laughs> Um, you might, if you find anything that looks Roman, give it, really give us a shout because that could be the the Mediterranean imports. You get this stuff from North Africa that looks a bit like Samian ware. Got the classic sort of pie crust rim, hasn't it, with yeah. the the finger impressions on it. Always a giveaway. Always yeah. a giveaway that. It's glazed. Gla the fact it's glazed inside now makes me think late medieval rather than earlier. And is that uh, is that where's that going to be made? They don't, they're not really sure. There's only I think there's only two pottery kilns known in Wales, one in the north and one in the south. They are making stuff somewhere around here, but they haven't found the kilns yet. But it is it is uh, it's, it's it's a Welsh pot and not an import. Yeah, I don't think that's English. I don't think that's English. It looks just like the it looks like a finer version of the you know the really grotty medieval stuff you were getting out. Oh. It looks like a finer version of that.